Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be starting our command line basics out with the most basic commands you need to know, and that's really how to get around your file system. So when you load up your iTerm, your terminal, whatever, uh, it's probably going to look something like this. If you're on OS X, it's going to start you within your user's home directory. But if you want to look around to see what else is in this folder, the command you'll be using is ls. Now, if no options are passed here, it's just going to list out our files that are within this current folder alphabetically. So you can see when I hit enter, we have applications, uh, and we got desktops, documents, downloads, Dropbox, Google Drive. Uh, if I were to open up my finder and look into my own user directory, you would see these exact uh, folders and or files. So LS is not only just showing you your folders, but it's showing you your files. It's listing everything in the uh, in the directory that you're currently in. So LS list. Now you can pass options or arguments to some commands to modify their output. For instance, if we type LS space and then hyphen LA, it's going to list not only all of our files and folders, but it's going to list the hidden folders, the, the ones that is that's prefaced with a period, and it's going to list their permissions, who owns them, when they were last updated, and their file size. So ls hyphen space hyphen la is a great way to get way more information about those current files. Now, if you ever just sort of want to see where you're at and what's going on, you can always just type ls really quick and sort of get a good picture of what the file system looks like around you. In fact, I frequently just type ls just to sort of get a, a grasp on where I am and what's going on. Now, let's say we want to move. We want to move into a folder because typically you're not going to want to do everything from one uh, you know, not everything you need is going to be in the directory you're at, so you're going to have to move. Now, the way to move is with the change directory command, or cd. So cd stands for change directory, so you do the command, then space, and now we can type in the uh, folder that we want to go into. Now I'm going to go into my sites folder, and what's useful is that I can hit s, and then I can hit tab, and you'll notice since I have nothing else that begins with an S, it's gone ahead and auto-completed this for me. Now, let's try that with something with a D. I'm gone back and deleted this, and let's, uh, because I have Dropbox documents in Google Drive, if I have capital D and then hit tab, you'll notice it doesn't want to auto-complete it for me. You'll, uh, You'll notice that if I double tap it, it's going to show me all of the things with the D that I can possibly go to. So now if I hit DO, double tap it again, uh, you can see it's now limiting it to just the DO. I fill it out to C, hit tab, and it will auto complete. So uh, typically you're going to be typing things like CD, S, tab, and then enter. Now you'll notice that it now says that I am in the uh, sites directory instead of the tilde. So the tilde was my home directory, and now I'm in the sites directory. Now if I type ls, you can see I have the folders, backups, clients, level up, personal, and projects. So what happens if I made a mistake? I wanted to go back to where I was. Well, you can type cd space dot dot. Now the dot dot is going to take you back one directory. Now after I hit enter, you can see by the tilde that I'm back in my home directory. Now what happens if I know that I want to arrive in my level up huts dot, uh, directory and then I want to see what's there? Well, you don't have to actually uh, change directory into sites and then change directory again into level up. What you can simply do is type cd uh, sites, I typed s and hit tab, and then I can just type l and hit tab once more and it's going to auto-complete level up. 
And you can see by having the slashes here, just like you're used to in maybe like a URL or something like that, it's a folder structure. So we're saying change directory into sites into level up. Now once I hit enter, I'm now within the level up folder. You can see by the declaration right here. If I type ls, you can see I have a whole bunch of poorly named folders inside of here, like dr, drup, drupal, level drupal, level up. Uh, sometimes I make these in a hurry, uh, so, so that's why they exist like that. But these are my folders within the level up. Cool, so now you have a basic understanding of command line using CD and LS. You can effectively know where you are and move forward and backwards through your file structure. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video below or hit us up at Twitter or Level Up Tuts or on Facebook, anywhere you want. Here's also the Level Up Tuts forum. And I should mention Level Up Pro. It's the subscription service for Level Up Tuts that just helps you support us making these free videos. There's no extra content, but you get the uh, feeling of helping us uh, make these videos for free by um, supporting us and out of it you can download any of the videos off of our website as well as access a private user forum have an ad free experience and have more Q votes all sorts of extra stuff and soon to be code examples so um, check it out and if you feel like supporting sign up I would really appreciate it if not no big deal keep watching the videos for free uh, that's the way they're intended to be so as always keep watching and in the next video we're going to talk about creating and deleting folders and files. So as always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching. Bye.